Dr. Powell, thanks for joining us again here on Health Connection. Our topic is adult acne, something we no normally associate with adolescents. The, the definition may seem self-evident, but go ahead and give us one. What is adult acne? Um, I'd say onset of acne after probably age 30. It's usually more prevalent in women in the perioral area. And what causes women to get adult acne? Um, as uh, you, you ovulate less, the hormone balance uh, shifts and you have more testosterone in the system and it uh, makes the acne. Okay, well then the, the, that leads to the differentiation between men and women since men don't ovulate. Are the causes of acne for men different and if so, what are they? Well, to have acne, you have to have increased oil production in the glands and bacteria. So the okay. cause for acne is the same in both sex, but the women have different reasons for their oil production to fluctuate. Okay. Is, there, is it different in men? Or, or is it well, men probably peak, you know, 18, 19, 20, and then as they stabilize their hormone production, they tend to get a little bit better, and they don't have the changes that women do, uh, early menopause, right. that women do. Right. You have adult acne. How do you treat it? Um, pretty much the same as adolescent acne, um, something to regulate the oil production, a Retin-A, uh, something, uh, or benzoyl peroxide, and then an antibiotic, either oral or topical. Are over-the-counter uh, products effective in treating adult acne? Um, for some people, sometimes you'll need stronger, a little bit prescription strength. Uh, and would that segue into a product like Proactive? Um, well, Proactive still is not prescription strength. Okay, that's it's still, an, that's still over, still the, over counter. the counter. It's still over the counter. It's benzoyl A prescription would be your antibiotic or your Retin-A. Um, there are some antibiotics that would work better than that. All right. Diet and nutrition, do they play a role in making your acne better or worse? Um, I guess some people think that, but they've done studies, but eating fried foods or sugar foods doesn't really uh, change acne. Although if you are diabetic and you're eating uh, sugar content that can make you fight the infection less. Okay. When in the course of just dealing with the inconvenience and the embarrassment of adult acne, when is it time to go see a doctor about it? Uh, I would think if you have pimples that are real deep or tender, we can inject them with steroid to get them to resolve. Um, if it's bothering you or leaving scars, but it's always reasonable to get a little something to help. How do you know if what you're suffering is acne and not rosacea? Um, and let's do, let's do a definition on rosacea first. Um, well, rosacea is redness across here in the nose and it causes enlarged pores. It tends to be worse um, if you do drink like wine or something like that. And it can look similar because it will have pustules like acne. And so how do you tell the difference? Uh, the dermatologist or the family medicine doctor would just have to look and see the distribution and, and there's different medicines for each one. Those of us who actually came through adolescence and puberty, which is to say all of us, we remember the days when we, when we dealt with pimples and acne. So, and when there were some myths, there was some mythology I remember from back in those days. What are some of the most common myths about acne? I guess it would be the fatty foods and the chocolates uh, making it worse type thing. Okay. And with respect to treating acne, are there common mistakes that people make? Uh, some people probably want to tend to pick them, which can spread the bacteria and maybe push the bacteria deeper in the skin and then leave a scar. So um, if you do have a pimple, it's best not to mash on it. Well, what do you do if you do have a pimple? How, how do you deal with a pimple? Um, you're, you're there's some topical you're, you're stuff. You're dressing up to go out for yeah. dinner, you're all, you want to look nice and you got this pimple. How do you deal with it? Well, first just try to cover the blemish. Um, there are some lights you can get that you hyperheat the light that kills the bacteria. They've got those over the counter. You could do um, a topical uh, antibiotic on it to kind of help calm it down. And if it's real bad, you could have the doctor inject a little kinolog to shrink it up. Okay, very well. Well, doctor, thank you. Appreciate your time. Okay, thank you.